What is Horizon View? Well, my friend, you've come to the right place. Let's begin. One of the things I've found very helpful when studying a new technology is making sure we have the vocabulary down. So in this nugget, I want to talk about what exactly is Horizon View and go over some vocabulary surrounding it. So let's start off with vSphere. You might say, well, Keith, wait a sec, vSphere is the whole data center virtualization thing, right? And the answer is yes. For example, we have a whole bunch of ESXi hosts working in a cluster or many clusters. Collectively, they're running individual virtual machines. And those virtual machines could be, for example, Windows 2012 and other popular operating systems. And of course, the applications that run on top of those operating systems. And then we have vCenter that's being used to coordinate and manage all of those resources. And inside of vSphere, we have really cool features like distributed resource scheduler, high availability, fault tolerance, and all those really cool features that make virtualization so desirable. And here's a question I have for you. Wouldn't it be better if we could have a user's desktop right here as a virtual machine running as part of vSphere instead of having it run out on the actual user's computer? I mean, think about it. Doing updates and backups on that computer would be a lot easier and more tidy if we did it as a virtual machine. And then allowing the user, for example, Bob or Lois, to sit at this endpoint and then remotely access that virtual machine. So as Bob types on the keyboard or moves the mouse, it's really controlling the details on that virtual machine instead of the local computer. And my friend, that's what VDI is all about. Virtual desktop infrastructure is all about user desktops being run as virtual machines inside the data center in a vSphere environment at least in a VMware context in a vSphere environment. And there are other solutions that allow that. For example, Citrix and Microsoft also have VDI solutions where we're hosting the desktop of the user inside the data center as a virtual machine. Now, a next logical question would be, okay, well, how exactly do we get the keystrokes and the mouse movements of Bob at this end device over to the virtual machine so it can process it? And to pull that off, we're gonna use some type of a display protocol. And there's several to choose from. In a VMware VDI environment, the two protocol choices are PC over IP, which is a protocol created by Teradici and licensed to VMware. And we also have remote desktop protocol in a VMware VDI implementation that can be used. And again, the purpose of a display protocol is to make sure we get the keystrokes and information back and forth between the real user, the carbon-based life form sitting at this device, over to and from the virtual machine that's running as a VM in the data center. So maybe this virtual machine that Bob is running in the data center is running Windows version 8.1 or Windows version 10 or Windows version X. And the tools and processes by which VMware implements their virtual desktop infrastructure is by a product called Vue. And Vue is a subset of a larger product called Horizon. And so specifically, Horizon Vue is VMware's VDI solution. Now, one of the challenges that we're going to face in a VDI solution is controlling which end users can have access to which virtual machines that are running as VMs in the data center. And to manage and control which VMs are available to which users, VMware has added a specific server to control that access, and that's called the connection server. In our topology, that's right here. And here's an example of how that might play out. Let's say we have four or five VMs running Windows 8.1 sitting here in the data center. What we would do on the connection server is we would connect to that and manage it using a tool called Vue Administrator. And we would identify those virtual machines, those resources, and put them into a logical pool. Maybe that pool is called Win8PCs. And now that the connection server knows about those Windows computers, we can go ahead and set up entitlements. Now, entitlements is usually a bad thing, like people feel entitled to this or entitled to that. But in the case of a connection server, entitlements simply mean that these users are allowed to use those resources. In this case, it would be those virtual machines. So for example, maybe Bob and Lois are a member of the Active Directory group called Domain Users. And on the connection server, we could set up entitlement to say anybody who's a member of domain users can have access to the virtual machines that are part of this pool called Win8PCs. So Bob or Lois would connect to the connection server, they would authenticate, and then could proceed to connect to those resources, which in this example are virtual machines running in the data center. And that, my friend, is an introduction to Horizon View as well as a few of the components that make up this VMware virtual desktop infrastructure. 
And here's what I would strongly recommend that you do right now. I'd like you to pause the video and take a moment and consider each of these terms and their acronyms when applicable. And I'd like you to explain these to another person. Or if you don't have another person available, I'd like you to think through in your own words what each of these concepts does or what it means. And the great news is, if you want to review any of these concepts, please just run the video again. And the benefit for you and I will be this. As we continue our journey together in this course, as we bring up terms such as VDI or display protocol, or we refer to vSphere, by taking a moment now to review those concepts, it'll assist you and I as we proceed because we'll have those terms firmly in our minds. And it'll also help us to not get stuck when those acronyms come up. I appreciate you joining me for this nugget. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.